have great success in development all around the world, in pulling people out of poverty, improving quality of life, but we haven't figured out how to do that without sacrificing the planet. If you look at the ecological footprint of the world, uh, most countries have moved beyond one planet living already. And so that's the challenge. And actually all of the CSR that we've seen over the last 20 years has completely failed to change that picture. And that's the dilemma we face right now. CSR for me is about good governance, it's about value creation, societal contribution, and environmental integrity. But it's not about something on the side. Unless we change the absolute core of what business does and how it does it, those problems will continue to get worse, not better. Well, it's obviously using the metaphor of the web. Uh, web 1.0 was still very small. It was about one-way communication. And in the same way, a lot of people still approach CSR as being telling the world about all the good things you do. Uh, it hasn't gone to scale. Uh, I tend to see companies in four different stages. They're either defensive or it's all about charity or promotion, reputation and brand or it's strategic where they just align an issue with their core business. If you're Coca-Cola, it's water, but you don't change your strategy. And all of those are 1.0 approaches in the sense that they, they haven't gone to scale and they're not really co-creating a solution. So 2.0, what I call transformative CSR, is something completely different. It's, it's set on the basis of really trying to get to the, the heart of the problem and change the way that we do business in society today. Well, what's become very clear is that we're in a time when we are desperate for information, we're desperate for inspiration, and what we see is a new generation of leaders inspiring us that are not all about the money. If we look back a generation at a Bill Gates or a, or, a, or a Steve Jobs, great leaders in their own right, but they weren't about making a difference in the world to make it better, really. They were about great products, and they did change the world. But if we look at the new generation, Jeff Skoll, founder of eBay, it's all about a social mission. The founders of Google, the founders of Tesla Motors, you know, high-end uh, luxury electric car, happen to also have been the founder of PayPal. These are people that want to have a business success to change the world for the better. And I think that those are great role models now for young people to say, it's not interesting to make a million by the time you're 25, unless in making that million, you're actually making a better world in the same time. We need to firstly re-evaluate where we are. This is about measuring your impact in an honest way. Not about some sustainability report for public relations, but what is the life cycle impact of your products? What is your footprint, in other words? That's where you have to start. The second is to realign. So we need to look at partnerships. Are you only in bed? talking to people who agree with you? Uh, or do you get some challenging NGO on your advisory board? We have to solve this together, we know that for sure. Uh, the third is to, um, to revision, so we need some kind of leadership revolution where actually we have leaders that inspire us to go much further than we ever thought was possible. We get uh, the likes of uh, Paul Pullman saying that we double the size of Unilever while halving the environmental footprint and bringing a billion people out of poverty. You know, this is inspiring leadership. Um, the fourth stage, I think, is we need to, um, to reinvent. So we need innovation. Uh, we need products and services that actually, by design, create solutions rather than are part of the problems. And finally, we need to restructure and restructure is the most difficult because it's about changing the rules of the game in the society. This is mainly to do with policy and market prices, 
so that actually it's the easiest thing in the world and the most profitable thing to be sustainable and responsible.